Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about how ecosystems work. This is video two of a three video series. Today we'll be talking about interactions among organisms. The learning targets for this video are to compare and contrast between different types of interactions among organisms, including symbiosis, predation, and competition, to analyze the impact of ecological niches on interactions between species, and to describe the impact of keystone species on an ecosystem. First of all, let's talk about the three main types of interactions among species in an ecosystem. They include symbiosis, predation, and competition. Remember, nothing exists in isolation. Symbiosis is the long-term interaction between individuals of different species. That interaction may be beneficial or harmful or neutral, and there are three types, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. We'll talk about each one of those individually, starting with mutualism. Mutualism is an interaction between species where both of the organisms benefit. The species enhances the survival, growth, or fitness of the other species that it's interacting with. In commensalism, the interaction between species is one where one species benefits and the other species is neither helped nor harmed. Those benefits may include providing nutrients, support, locomotion, or shelter. In parasitism, it is an interaction between species where one benefits at the expense of the other, and sometimes that expense of the other results in the death of the host organism. Ecological niches are interesting because they describe the role within the structure and function of an ecosystem that a species plays. That role is the place and function of the species within the complex system of biotic and abiotic factors, and it accounts for all aspects of the organism's existence, including physical, chemical, and biological factors that are needed for the organism to survive, remain healthy, and to reproduce. Predation is another type of interaction. Predators kill and feed on their prey. Now, there are interesting evolving strategies, both on the predator side and the prey side, where predators find more efficient ways to catch their prey, and prey find better ways to escape predators, including adopting some social behaviors, such as living in groups. Sometimes new traits evolve as mutations, and these traits may persist under natural selection. Competition is another type of interaction among organisms. So it's an interaction where the same or different species may vie for the same set of resources within a single ecosystem. And those resources that they may be in competition for might include food, space, or shelter. Competition occurs when ecological niches overlap. And species whose niches overlap may evolve by natural selection to have more distinctive niches resulting in resource partitioning. Keystone species are those species who are vital to the functioning of an ecosystem. And without that species, the ecosystem would be dramatically different or possibly cease to exist. In other words, no other species fills that ecological niche. A few keystone species are wolves, the purple sea star, kelp, elephants, and Ocalina corals. I think we're ready to look back at our learning targets and go ahead to the Mastery Chef quiz. So, learning targets. Compare and contrast between different types of interactions among organisms, including symbiosis, predation, and competition. Analyze the impact of ecological niches on interactions between species. And describe the impact of a keystone species on an ecosystem. See you in class.